Dude, sick on it, bro. Well, it's a fucking accurate first of all. Really dirty as usual because I don't wash this car enough. Look at that. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Just look at it. Just found a little ding. I'm not gonna show you guys. I don't want to point it out. But anyways, even though the car is really dirty, the car is still clean. If you get what I mean. In today's video, I'm gonna do something different. I know I'm usually putting down this car, talking smack on it, talking smack on two valves. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I love this car, and I like this car better than my Coyote. <sighs> Yep, I said it. I love my two valve. But in this video, I am going to be telling you guys seven things I like about this car, not dislike about it. That could be a next video, but again, I've pretty much done that in half of my videos. I always talk shit on it. So without further ado, I'm gonna sit down next to this car and give you guys seven things I do actually like about it. It'd be kind of hard. It's a little sit like that, I guess. I got a list on my phone so I don't get too distracted. Okay, I got a little list. It's nothing big and nothing crazy, but I can go off of that. First thing. And this is the first thing you see, generally when I'm pulling up, other than my wheels and everything else, is my, my hood. The Kyle hood on this car. And it makes the car stand out. It's not gonna be something that is on every 1999 through 04 Mustang GT. This is what I'm trying to get to, is what I like about my two valve. That's why I decided to put a new hood and do all the modifications I decided to do. First thing to make it stand out is the first thing I did before I painted the car is I picked out the hood. The second thing I enjoy are my wheels, they are. I've said it plenty of times before, but I always get comments on all my videos, what kind of wheels, what's the setup on them. So the second thing I like are my XXR 531 wheels, and they are 18 by 9.5 up front, 18 by 11s in the rear. The rears are a 335-30-18 tire, while the fronts are a 275 35 18. I don't want any more comments. I know I'm going to but that is my wheel setup. They're pretty wide just steamrollers Even before I bought this car the first thing I noticed were I used to have Celine's on this car and they were 18 by 10 all around I can't tell you the tire specs. I don't remember but they were 18 by 10 all around and I was just like, oh my god Those wheels set off my car. That is a big thing that sets off your car or what wheels you're running and the Celine's were awesome and again my XXR's are just I love them. It can go either way. Either people hate them or they love them because it is generally an import style wheel. But I think they actually look good on this car, especially at the right offset and the right width. So number three, and it is definitely be hard to tell what color it actually is because I, me and my dad actually repainted this car almost four years ago. It is silver, but it has a blue pearl flaking in it car is stupid dirty I couldn't even show you guys if I tried the sunlight's horrible but trust me it is silver with blue pearl so that is what makes this color unique so there's really no paint flaws on this car because whenever it is clean and uh, I do have it waxed up and it's shining under like a certain light it can look really cool and it's really hard to show in pictures but in person it is awesome so along with appearance it's obviously flashy but it's also got to be loud. So along with my full exhaust setup, and I have explained that before in the past, I have long tube headers, off-road X-pipe, and SLP loudmouth one muffler. So it is essentially a straight pipe, all the way back, no restrictions. That is why it's so loud. But that is not my fourth thing I like about my car. It goes along with it, but the fourth thing I just recently did, and I posted a few videos on it and doing a review on it, are my comp cam stage two along with the long tube headers and full exhaust the cams make it just chop and it just sounds awesome pulling up sitting at a stoplight it sounds awesome at idle and also since it is stupid loud when i get on it it is just ignorant so along with the appearance the car has to sound good so it's a full package number five along with appearance and noise the car has to have some go now granted this is a two valve that is cammed, so it picked up a little bit of ponies. Not a whole lot, I'm not going to claim a lot, even though it is cammed, so I'm not gonna be that guy. But a good mod you can do 
are gears on these cars and that has to go with any car gearing is a big deal when it comes to racing or just when they have a good acceleration so i opted to get 410 gears in this car and i couldn't be happier i did this a long time ago it was one of the first mods i actually did like actual like performance mods a lot of people on forums say oh the highway driving will be shit it's not shit it really isn't that bad city driving it's not too bad um again i don't daily the car so it could just be me, but I enjoy it. I used to daily it with 410s, and it was definitely obtainable. I would recommend them. 373 to 410s, good gear ratio. Now I know I'm just sitting here talking about the car and not driving the car, and drive time is a big deal if you're gonna have a car, is how does a car drive? It's not a trailered car. I do actually drive it on the streets occasionally, but when I do bring it out, I actually like how this car drives. Uh, it's more of a I've said it before, almost like a driver's car. There's not too much with the computers and all that. It's an older car, and again, I have it lowered and have a really stiff suspension to it, and just how wide the wheels are just hugs the road. So it just makes the car fun to drive, along with the exhaust no, and just knowing that you look badass with the front end being aggressive, Cobra front bumper, big hood, and the flashy big and wide wheels in the back. My seventh and final reason why I love my 2003 Mustang GT, and it has nothing to do with modifications. This was my first legitimate car of my that I could call my own, and I wanted to get a car that uh, I could modify and have fun with, and I could call just mine, and it is just what um, almost portrays me. This was my first car. I have been through a lot with this car. I've had it for over six years now. I'm glad I stuck with it. Honestly, always gonna be here to stay. Anything goes wrong with the car, I'll fix it. Anything goes wrong with the motor, again, I've already said it before, but I do plan on doing a motor swap anyways. So it is just a project car and is here to stay. I wanna know what you guys think. If you guys have a two-valve, or just leave a comment down below what car you guys drive and give me a reason why you guys enjoy or love your car. That is gonna be it for today's video. Uh, it's a little different, obviously. Talking about what I like about the car, and I don't do that too often. I don't talk about why I like the car, but again, I love it. That is it, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you stayed till the end, and don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you guys are notified when I do post new videos. So without further ado, guys, I'm gonna have the last image be my car. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and keep on keeping on. Peace out.